In today's video, we are opening up the rarest Yu-Gi-Oh pack and search for the $35,000 Yu-Gi-Oh card. What's up guys, we're back with another epic opening and yes, we are here in 2023 opening up a Legend of Blue Eyes first edition booster pack. Yes, this is not going to be right away. You know, this is going to be in this video at some point, but this is going to be insane, potentially heavy because this came from Lewis's box break. I know they haven't pulled all the foils yet, so it could potentially be in there. I bought this when I was getting ready for the every pack opening. I bought two of them. We didn't get one or didn't get a foil in the every pack opening. So that means we have an even better chance with this one because they're from the same box. But before we hop into that, we'll be doing a giveaway. I'll be giving away these XYZ Dragon Cannon BPT. We got a B-Skull Dragon BPT and then a Gaia the Dragon Champion being secret rare all you have to do is like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know what you want to see from the legend of blue eyes pack blue eyes white dragon please say that but that's not all we're opening today i have three packs of battles of legend crystal revenge that chelsea bought for me while she was doing christmas shopping these she found two at one store one at another and i was like if there's the left arm in there it's going to be epic because you picked it up and she whenever she picks packs for some reason they're always really good so hopefully that's the case in this opening we also have 17 power of the duelist hobby packs i really want to get the chimera tech ultimate rare which would be insane dark neos flame Neos. There's a lot of great ones in here. I want to pull them and I'm running out of packs. So I'm hoping that they're in here somewhere. Today's video was sponsored by Factor. Get fresh, ready-made meals delivered to your doorstep when you sign up with Factor. Factor chef-created meals are fresh, never frozen, and backed by dietitians to ensure that every meal is packed with premium science-backed nutritional quality. Factor provides the most convenient way to eat well. Factor has a menu that's updated weekly and has over 27 meals and 34 add-ons. I'm constantly looking for ways that I can eat at home because I work from home. I'm even drinking one right now. It provides me with a way to stop eating fast food and eat healthy food. Tasty. And it is so easy to make. It only takes about two minutes to make the meals. And not only is it convenient to make the meals, they also show up right to your doorstep so you don't actually have to do any work like go to the grocery store or go to the fast food restaurant. I'm personally a huge fan of Factor, and if you guys want some as well, use my link or go to go.factor75.com and use code pogruxandjan60 for 60% off your order. Thanks again to Factor for sponsoring this video. Okay, let's start it off with the Power of the Duelist pack. I'm pretty excited for this opening because I want to open all these packs because there's something I want from each specific one. So there's no like duds for me. I'm excited for all of them. Here we go. Let's see if we can pull something big. Power of the Duelist. We have, I think, 20 total packs today. So not a crazy amount of packs, but they're all pretty quality. Sabersaurus, Black Stego. Come on, Destiny Arrow Defender. Let's pull something good. We got to make sure we're recording on this one for sure. We got audio. We got video looking good. Uh, Rescue Roid, Fearmonger, The Paths of Destiny, Forward of Bombardment, and a Dark City. Okay, so starting it off with a rare, no big deal. I think we'll do a couple of these before we get into the Crystal Revenge, because I only have three of those. So we're going to keep that LOB back there just to tease you guys. I would love for it to be a Blue Eyes, of course, but if we get any, like, foil, it's going to be awesome. If we get any Ultra, it's going to be crazy. Like, I, I don't care if it's, like, an arm or something. I, sp I just hope it's not the right leg, because that's the one I already have. I probably just jinxed myself. Sabersaurus, Alien Skull. I mean, that wouldn't even be a bad jinx. We got a freaking Ultra Rare. Uh, Royal Rip. We got the D-Spirit. Crystal's a Dolphin, Black Terra, Flying Saucer, and ooh, an Aqua Dolphin, our favorite card. We love to pull Aqua Dolphin out of this set, but that's our first foil. Not bad. Let's check out our first Battles of Legend Crystal Revenge. We've opened many of these packs. We have been searching for the left arm from different places, Walmarts, cases from Sassy, everything you can think of. Let's see if we can pull something big. We need a Starlight, Emblem, Crystal Beast, Cobalt Eagle, G Golem, Stubborn, Menhir. Chaos Valkyrie and the advanced Crystal Beast Ruby Carbunk. I'm going to move this over because it's like right behind the card. All right, nothing too crazy there. It's always the advanced Crystal Beast. They're everywhere. I mean, it's part of the set name, so it makes sense. But let's see if we can pull something big out of Power of the Duelist to start off 2023. It could be in our top 25 pulls of 2023, like any year from now. Destiny Mirage, Mausoleum of the Emperor, Bite Lawn, Wonder Garage, Elemental Hero Neos, D Spirit. Flying Saucer, Muscle, and... Uh, oh, an ultimate rare! Aqua, Neos, that's a sick card. And yeah, since it is pulled from a pack, it's always going to be the gold stamp. The silver stamp only exists outside of a pack. It was made and then put into a product that was given away as a promo, basically. So this is the gold stamp. Centering is a little bit off. I'm definitely still going to send this in, though, potentially grade this. I recently graded a 9 on one of these. I would love to have a PSA 10. That's a sweet ultimate rare. And that one's a little bit harder to pull, than, or a little bit harder to find the people think because they always a lot of people don't know the difference between the silver and the gold so they see there's a lot 
lot available and they're like, oh, these are easy, they're cheap. You know, that's because they're the silver stamps. So that's actually a pretty good one to get in gold stamp. Here we go, fake hero, just like the silver stamps, fake heroes. Alien Hunter, brainwashing beam. We got the miracle Jurassic egg, contact, alien gray, fossil excavation, Vicroid connection zone, and we have a alien warrior. Not bad, not bad. I'm just looking at that blue eyes pack. Man, blue eyes, just be a good pack, man. Just every time I open a loose blue eyes pack, I don't have good luck. And it makes sense, because it's like, you know, what if it's scaled? You know, this I know for a fact is not scaled, but a lot of the times it's like you're you're questioning if they're scaled or not. They probably are, you know, sapphire packets. This one I know for sure isn't though. Amazon is Hall, Heroic Call. Dream Cicada and a ooh Celine Queen of Master Magicians. If you guys remember, this one's actually crazy short printed, so that's a great pull. We will take that Celine. I don't think it's crazy money, but it's still something. POTD. So far, it's been good to us with an ultimate rare Aqua Dolphin. Can you keep it up? That pack didn't open quite right. Let's go. Alien Hunter, Brainwashing Beam, Black Stego, Fake Hero like the Silver Stamp, Synthetic Seraphim, Black Terra. Orbital Bombardment, a Rescue Roid, and we have an Overload Fusion. Pretty cool card. Just a retail rare, though, or a retail ultimate rare. All right, we got several of these, so it's going to be a lot of a POTD opening. A lot of great cards in this set. A lot of awesome ultimate rares. Hopefully, we can pull a couple of them in this video. Amos Roid, Decoy Roid, Jurassic Egg, Crop Circles, Baby Cerasaurus, Chrysalis Dolphin. We got the Paths of Destiny, Amos Rescue Roid, and we have... A submarine roid. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. We'll take the submarine roid. I always like that card. One more. We'll open our last Crystal Revenge after this. Then we're all in on POTD. And finally, Legend of Blue Eyes. Let's go. All right. We have Rallus the Starbird, Ambulance Roid, Common Soul, Blade Master, The Paths of Destiny, D Spirit, Wonder Garage, Alien Gray, and a Chimera Tech Over Dragon. We did pull it. It's not the ulti, but it's still an ultra. This is the card I'm looking for, but I would really like to get the ulti. That would be really sick. So maybe we'll pull it in the same video. Who knows? All right. Battles of Legend Crystal Revenge. Here we go. Last chance of this video. I'm going to say last chance every time it's our last pack of the video. Like, you know, we're going to open this a million times and never get the left arm. It's, that's what it feels like, at least. Come on. Give us some good. Maybe an access code. That'd be cool. We got a uh, Dynabase. I wouldn't be mad about that. Dragon Nails. G Golem Crystal Heart. G Golem Rock Hammer. And a Odd Eyes Persona Dragon. That's a secret rare. All right. Okay. We didn't get the left arm this time. Chelsea, your packs. They were decent. We got, I mean, they had a Celine. That's short printed. Oh, power of the Duelist. Come on. It's up to you to lead us. You know, give us good vibes going into the Legend of Blue Eyes pack. So far, you've done well. We've got an Ultra and an Ultimate Rare already. Black Stego. We got, oh no. We got a messed up corner up here. If you guys can see that. Hopefully not the foil. Alien Hunter. Oh no. Yes. Okay. It was the Alien Hunter. Rescue Roid. Sorry, Alien Hunter. I'm just glad it's not the foil. Synthetic Seraphim. <laughs> Elemental Hero Neos. There he is. The common printing. Orbital Bombardment. And we have... Supercharge. All right. Supercharge. That is a card you do not want to pull if you're pulling, a, you know, an ultimate rare out of a retail pack. But no retail here, so we're safe. No big deal. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's pull something big. I've had this Legend Blue Eyes pack for quite a while because I said I got it when I did, you know, the every pack right before that. And that was quite a while ago at this point. If you guys have not seen the every pack opening, go check it out. Maybe if you have seen it, you can go check it out again because that was a cool video. Uh, Miracle Jurassic Egg, got the Alien Skull, but D Spirit. I know some of you guys haven't seen it. Flying Saucer, Elemental Hero Neos, Wonder Garage. Let's go. Cosmic Horror Gangiel. Gangiel, no big deal. How many of these we got? We got three. We got seven more Power of the Duelist packs, and then we're going into a first edition Legend of Blue Eyes pack, which they are reprinting Legend of Blue Eyes, but. You can't reprint first edition, so this will always be a crazy pack, no matter how many times they make reprint unlimited, which I'm I'm super glad that they're doing, because I think it'll be super fun for me to open, other people to open. They're very affordable. Alien Skull, we got Rallis and Starbird, Aimless Roid, Common Soul, Paths of Destiny, D Spirit, Wonder Garage, Alien Gray, and we have Future Fusion. That would be a cool retail ulti, like really cool. Okay, what are we gonna get in our last few Power of the Duelist? Will we get one more ulti maybe? I think we had like 16 packs or something like that. So it's not quite a 24 pack, which would be two ultis. We're, we're right above that threshold. So we might get a second ulti, we might not, who knows? They are kind of random, so maybe we'll get 
We could even get three, I guess. Contact, we have a Desniro Dasher. Used to be money. I think it's still a dollar though. Maybe not now after all the reprints because it did have like a super reprint. Uh, I think it had like a common reprint as well. So, well, did it? No, it had a secret reprint. That's what it was. Out of the Legendary Collection. No, Speed Duel. Not Legendary Collection. The Speed Duel product. Come on, Ultimate Rare. Let's go. Let's get that big one. Chimera Tech Overdrive. I want to say Fortress because I'm too much Edison. Royal Writ of Taxation. D Spirit. Crystal's Dolphin. We've got the Black Terra. Flying Saucer Muscle. And it's always a rare. Whenever you see it's a rare, it's bad. Because I don't think there are any rare foils in this. Maybe one. But I, it's it's not good if it is. Because traps were not... There weren't any great traps around here. Not none, but for the most part, not many great ones. One, two, three, four. They were mostly in the Dual Monsters era. Mausoleum of the Emperor. That card has got some edge wear right there. We've got Bite Lawn. Ambulance Roid. Decoy Roid. Neos. D Spirit. Flying Saucer Muscle, Baby Sarasaurus, and a Neospatian Dark Panther. This is actually an expensive ulti, but it's just a super rare here, so nothing crazy. I think it might still be over a dollar, though. Three packs to go. Power of the Duelist. Let's go. And then we have the Legend of Blue Eyes, the much anticipated. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed the video so far, and hopefully it gets even crazier by the end. Brainwashing Beam, Rescue Roid, Synthetic Seraphim, Elemental Hero Neos, Orbital Bombardment, and a... Destiny Hero Double Dude. That's an ultimate rare. We'll take it. Double Dude has been pulled. He's not too bad. He's decent. I mean, he's a cool ultimate rare, but he's probably not the best one. Two backs to go. At this point, if we get another ulti, it's pretty insane. I'd take another ulti for sure. Let's get three out of here and then we'll go into or if we have to sacrifice the third ulti to get an ultra rare in LOB, I'm down or a secret rare or something crazy. All right. Destiny Hero Defender, Blade Master, Common Soul. Destiny Mirage, Destiny Hero Fearmonger, The Paths of Destiny, Orbital Bombardment, Wonder Garage, and a Cyclone Blade. Isn't there a Cyclone Boomerang as well? I feel like there is. Final pack of Power of the Duelist of this video. Will it be something crazy? You gotta believe. Royal Writ of Taxation, Sabersaurus, Destiny Hero Defender, Common Soul, Fossil Excavation, Baby Sarasaurus, Contact, Wonder Garage, and... Alien Mother. Hey, we sacrificed the third ulti. Maybe that's a good sign. Here we go. First edition Legend of Blue Eyes. The first set ever made in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. We could pull a $35,000 Blue Eyes White Dragon if it gets a PSA 10. There's Red Eyes, there's Dark Magician, Exodia Head, Polymerization, Raigeki. I mean, there's a lot of insane stuff in here. Even the commons are worth quite a bit. Let's see what we can get. Here we go. I haven't opened one of these in a while. Come on, we need some good luck, guys. Send some luck in the comments. Legend of Blue Eyes. We're gonna do four from the back. One, two, three, four. We have Dragon Treasure. Nice looking cards, very nice. Fire Yaru. A malevolent creature wrapped in flames that attacks enemies with intense fire. Cool. Succubus Knight, the Knight of Succubus. The Tie Hone. Okay, these seem to be pretty centered, which is nice because sometimes you want to grade some of these commons. Laser Cannon Armor. Another nice card. Come on, we're still recording. Got to make sure that's all good to go. Petite Angel. This one's a little bit off centered. Okay. Quick Moving and Tiny Fairy. That's very difficult to hit. Speaking of that, Blue Eyes White Dragon. Difficult to hit. The Furious Sea King. Ooh, he's the Grand King of the Seven Seas. One Eyed Shield Dragon. Come on, let's get a foil, guys. Send us some luck. Is it next? It might be. Oh, Flower Wolf! No! <laughs> All right, it's just a Flower Wolf. How's the centering on it? Not even that good. Oh, no, just a Flower Wolf. So that's a big L right there. But that was fun to open that Legend of Blue Eyes first edition pack. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Miss Cycle, James Jance, Frankie Martinez, and Unatai Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Echo, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Dad gummit.